Once again, this video did not exist when I was getting ready to go on my voyage for semester at sea, and I really wish that it had, because I knew nothing about the gym situation on the ship, I didn't know what options were available, I didn't know what, what equipment was there, I didn't know what time of day was best to work out, or like when it even opened. So I enjoy weightlifting and working out, so I really wish I had known these things so I could have planned my workouts a bit better before I went on the ship. So today, you lucky ducks, I'm going to tell you guys everything you need to know about the gyms on Semester at Sea, and also even share my thoughts about what exercises are best when the ship is constantly moving under you, and you're on the rough seas and the rough waves. So, I hope you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe if you do, and leave any other comments or questions you have for me down below about Semester at Sea. Let's get started. let's talk about how to actually find the gym and workout areas on the ship. So there are two options that you're going to have and the first one is outside on the back of deck 8. And to get there it's pretty self-explanatory, you just walk out any of the doors on deck 8 and walk towards the back and there it is. And this is where you can find most of the free weights and the stand-up bikes. And then if you want to get to the other area from that spot on deck 8, then you have to go down the two sets of stairs on the back of the ship and it's on deck 6 on the back but it's indoors and the one on deck 8 is outdoors. But you cannot get to the indoor gym on deck 6 any other way except for going down the back stairs from either decks 9, 8, or 7. So you have to go outside on one of those decks and then go down a flight of stairs and then go back inside on deck 6 and there's no other way to get there. Now let's talk about the equipment that is going to be available for you in each of these spaces. So on deck 8, as I mentioned before, is where you can find most of the free weights and for sure the heavier weight options. So they have dumbbells that I think go up to 25 kilos, which is 50 pounds, and the lightest dumbbell found on this deck is 2.5 kilos or 5 pounds. And then there are three benches that you can use, a barbell rack, and one of those easy barbells, like the wavy ones, that I think are mostly used for curls. And then of course they have the weight plates, which I never added up all of them together, but I wish I had so I could share with you guys how much total weight there is possible for your barbells. But I know at least that there were a couple 25 kilo ones, so if there were four of those, that would be at least 200 pounds, but I wish I could give you a more accurate approximation than that, but I can't, I'm so sorry. So the height of the barbell rack is a bit limited, like it's pretty short and it doesn't raise up that high, so most people used it for chest press, but I saw a few trying to use it for squats, but it looked really dangerous because they like hunched over really far, so I don't know if I would recommend it for that, but it is sure good for chest press. There's also a pull-up bar right outside in this area, and that's awesome. The only downside to this area as opposed to the area downstairs is that this one opens at 8 o'clock, so if you are in the first section of Global Studies, which I talked about a bit in my classes video and when to take Global Studies, I recommend the later section for sure, the 10 a.m. instead of the 8.30 a.m., then you cannot work out in the morning because you won't get there in time to have it open and then for you to go back and shower or even grab any of your stuff. And also if you want to eat breakfast, that closes at 8.30 as well. So you're sort of stuck in like a time crunch if you try to work out before your first global studies class if you're in the first section. So do the later section is my advice. I always would get breakfast, I'd get up at like 7, I'd go to work out, and then I'd go back to my room and shower, and then go to Global Studies, and that was a great schedule for me because it is so empty in the morning. There's literally no one there in the morning, but once it hits like 3 p.m., like there's so many people in the workout areas, and you will not have the equipment you need like when you want it. I liked having everything available for me when I wanted it so I could get through my workout fast and not have to wait for people to be done with their weights. And then across from this area, let me draw you a photo like in your mind. So here is the area with all the free weights, the benches, and the barbells. And then the pull-up bar is right here. Then there's this giant chessboard in the middle where you can play chess with people and the pieces are like, they're like, they're like this big. So you have to like pick them up and move them. And then over here, there's a row of four or five stationary bikes. So you can use them for all of your spinning needs. The other downside to this area, this outside area on deck 8, is that it is outside. So it is super hot because we started my journey at least in like the northern part of the world. <laughs> like we were in Amsterdam and Poland and then we got to like Ghana, across the ocean, Brazil, and it was so, so, so hot. 
it was so hot if you did not go before like the sun was up so I'd be out there at like 7 a.m. and it would still be like steamy but if you go outside any later like you're gonna be dripping in sweat like dying which might be good for like weight loss if you're like sweating a lot but also it's bad for dehydration and it just makes you feel like you're weaker because you're so hot so now let's head inside down the stairs to deck six to talk about the options that you have for working out there in the deck six workout area you'll find first of all air conditioning which is my favorite part and then there's six treadmills and three ellipticals and some free weights and some machines and the free weights in this area go from one kilo to ten kilos so a lighter variety but also a larger variety if that makes sense like it's one two three four so you can have more control over the weight that you're choosing and it doesn't go up by as big of increments and the thing about this area is that the treadmills are all like German treadmills so all of their instructions are in German and they measure your runs in kilometers so keep that in mind you might not understand right away like the difference between your running speed when you're running a kilometer to a mile so be sure to understand that there's a difference there my personal favorite two treadmills are the ones on the far right over here because those are the ones with English instructions and also like English measurements and also there's a fan right in this corner and it points straight at those two treadmills and not at the other ones so it's ideal to be in those two <laughs> so keep that in mind also all the treadmills look out the back of the ship so you're gonna have a beautiful view of the ocean and like where we're coming from and you'll see other ships go by as you're running and one time i was running and i literally saw dolphins jumping through the water during my workout and it's the best workout experience you can have there's nothing better to watch than the waves going by as for the machines in this room, there is a shoulder press machine, there is a chest fly machine which can also be used to work your back, and there's a lat pull down. And these are all great, there's nothing wrong with these, so those are just your regular old machines. And then this workout area on deck 6 is also where you can come to find yoga mats and you can bring these outside for stretching or like ab exercises or you can bring them to other parts of the ship. So there's like yoga classes sometimes and people will bring those yoga mats up to the classes wherever they're being held. And I knew a lot of people who also brought their own yoga mats from home and they were happy they did this because you didn't have to like fight for one if there was a busy time for yoga mats. But I was always fine like just using the ones I had there and it helped me not take up so much space in my luggage. Something else important to realize about the deck six workout area with all the treadmills and the machines is that there's going to be a sign up that comes out for this area that you're supposed to sign up for a specific time on if that makes sense and you're supposed to stay on each machine for 30 minutes like that's the time slot you sign up for and this matters for the busiest times of day like in mid-afternoon where it might not be empty when you go there but I always went like I didn't usually sign up because there was no one there anyway at 8am so I just like go and like do my workout and stay as long as I wanted but if you're going at a busy time you have to sign up or you'll get there and people will be on the treadmills other people will already be signed up ahead of you and you're just gonna have to like wait or go back or come back the next day like there's not really a way around that also something to know about using the deck six workout area is that it's supposed to be reserved for faculty from 5 a.m. to 8 a.m. and if they're there then they should use it before you like you should not really go there during this time but if you do go and there's not anyone there of course you can use the stuff but if there's a faculty member waiting for the equipment and you're already on it you might want to get off and let them go because it's their time that's specified for them to work out so for what exercises are best to do on the ship I hate to say it, but it's really hard to work legs on this ship because of how wavy it is. Like one time I tried to do weighted lunges and I swear to God, my knees almost like popped out. Like we went over a wave and I was like, oh my gosh, Like I, I put down the weights and it was just like, I almost died. Like that was awful. It's easier to do squats because both of your feet are on the ground, but that's kind of hard to do without any squat racks, but you can always do dumbbell squats and like deadlifts rdls always felt pretty stable regardless of how choppy the water was but also keep in mind if you're going to be running it's really really different to be running on a ship for the first time as opposed to running on land in a gym when the treadmill is moving but imagine the treadmill moving and also like the waves moving under you sometimes you pick a foot up and you put it back down and it's not really like centered where it was before like you've kind of shifted a little bit so be careful running for the first time don't push yourself too hard get a feel for what it feels like to be running with the moving water and then you can increase your speed but don't start out right away thinking you're going to be able to run the same way you do on land on the ship 
As for other fun workout options on the ship, there's going to be different classes offered each voyage depending on who wants to teach what classes. So on my voyage on A days, there was sunrise yoga, and then there was also yoga at like night on B days, I think, at nine in a different part of the ship. And then on B days in the morning at 7 a.m., there were HIIT workouts led. And about halfway through the voyage, someone started teaching Zumba. So there's always people like teaching classes that you can go to on the, and they'll advertise that on Homeport, which is just where you get information for the ship and it's on their ship's internet anyway. But if there's a class that you don't want and if you wanna do yoga and no one's teaching yoga, then you start teaching it. You start teaching it and you send out the email or put it on Homeport and tell everyone that you're doing a class and people will literally show up. So if you're not happy with the classes offered, start your own, start a new one. And then, of course, you can always swim in the pool as a workout or go to the sport court and play basketball or just find a workout buddy and find something fun for you guys to do. I think you're going to find that it's really fun to work out on the ship. And something that they did for my voyage, which I really enjoyed, was that they made a challenge for climbing Mount Everest. And it was climbing up the flights of stairs inside the ship to the different decks. And I think you had to climb up the stairs like 2,000 something times to climb Everest. But a friend and I did this and it was really, really tiring, going to be honest but it was really fun because we'd climb up probably like six times and then like back down. And it was really tiring, but it was a good goal to be like, we're gonna climb Everest. And it kept us on track and then you'd write it down in the library, like how far you went. And that was really fun. So just find an option that you enjoy, find a friend to work out with, and you'll have a great time on this ship. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like and subscribe if you did, and let me know any other questions you have about the gym equipment or anything about Semester at Sea. Thank you for watching, I'll see you guys next time.